Hi, I'm Councilman Vince Sarmiento, and I'm here uh, in the downtown after a very busy weekend uh, in a very, very difficult time. You know, we're still dealing with a pandemic, and in these last few days, we've also had some uh, protests, some uh, demonstrations, and some people out in the community uh, that are voicing their pain and their sadness over what happened in Minneapolis to George Floyd. And I have to tell you, all of us, I think, are touched and moved and just deeply, deeply enraged about uh, you know, what we all uh, saw. And so, um, you know, we have to understand that this is a moment that we have to give hope and we have to try to come together and realize um, what's gonna come of this because there was a lot of energy that was spent over the weekend, people marching and protesting, and I, want, I don't want it to just end uh, that way and this to be taken off the media cycle by something else and we all forget because this is a significant moment. And I'm really happy uh, and privileged to have a friend of mine here who uh, hopefully will speak some words of hope and encouragement to many of our youth, especially in Santana, who feel uh, hopeless and helpless. And, uh, you know, I don't want that to happen. I'm very optimistic about what the future is here in town. And my friend Andre Roberson, who is a director of the Power One Foundation, who taught me what it is to give and give in a very massive quantity because for the past few months, he's been handing out, and really this goes back years, but especially within the past couple of months, he's been providing our families who are struggling with food and with meals. And I think the numbers have gone beyond 150,000. He did it at Main Place. I'll let him tell his story because it's, an, it's a compelling one. And so I'm just very happy to have him next to me and I'm happy to call him my friend, a leader in the community, and somebody who I know has inspired me and will inspire many others. Andre, do you mind saying a couple of words here with me, my friend? Thank you so much, Vince. Uh, I'm gonna echo what he said. I was born and raised in Santa Ana. I grew up here and my grandmother has owned a business for 47 years. When COVID-19 hit, me and my family and all our friends and people decided to stay on the front lines to be able to ensure that we can feed our community because we've been in the community of Santa Ana feeding people for the last 15 years. You fast forward to COVID-19, something that we all didn't expect. And here we are quarantined, but yet we still have needs. You fast forward to George Floyd. What happened to him was wrong. It was absolutely wrong. But I hear you, you. I saw you this weekend. I was out here with you protesting. That's what we need to do. We need to let our voice be heard. But the one thing that we can't do in this process is mix up the narrative. We have people out here breaking in stores and looting. That is not speaking for black people, number one. That's not speaking for our community. So youth, I really need you to understand that right now is time for us to change history. This is our moment. We need to all band together. And please realize that the stores that you're looting, they're owned by minorities. They're owned by people who spent their life earnings and their time building up their businesses and they were just destroyed in one night. So what we have to do is we have to come together as a community. We have to look beyond race. We have to look at each other as we're all human and that we have to care for one another. And please know that this is not gonna get lost because we hear your voice. But the way that we voice ourselves, if you look at our forefathers, Martin Luther King, Harriet Tubman, Gandhi, of all races that were leaders, the one thing that they all had in common was they wanted peace first. They wanted their voice to be heard, but in a way to where it would unite and it would let the people at the top know this is what our community wants. Do you hear us? And please know that your police officers, every police officer that puts on that uniform is not bad. They're not flawed. You have to understand that they have a heart. And some of these people put on their uniform to protect and serve from the bottom of their heart. And in every bunch are gonna have a bad seed. Let's weed out those bad seeds. And everybody wants those bad seeds. All over the country, you're seeing police officers kneel. This is the first time in history you've ever seen that. So young people, I want you to pay attention. I'm a leader in the community. I'm walking with you side by side. Vincent Sarmiento, walking with you side by side and so many other leaders in this community. We wanna do this right. There will be change. We promise you there will be change. 
but we all have to come together as one human body beyond race for us to change this narrative in our history. Thank you, Vincent. Thank you, Andre. Look, you said it all well. You know, the only thing I can tell you is that, um, look, as a person, when I was much younger, I marched with one other person named Cesar Chavez. And Cesar Chavez, I remember in the spirit of Martin Luther King and others who saw that they brought about change with civil disobedience and nonviolence. And look, what I can tell you is I'm, when I saw that video from Minneapolis, first I cried, then I got really angry, and then I realized, look, I'm hopeful because we can change things. You've got my attention. I'm listening to you. I just don't want your message and our message to get lost by people saying there's crime, there's violence, people are looting. That's not the message we want. The message we want is change, accountability, to making sure that we're all treated the same, that our law enforcement, because you can be supportive of law enforcement and not condone police abuse or an abuse of authority. Those two things are not mutually exclusive. We hold ourselves to those standards. We hold everybody in the community to those standards. Bad actors are bad actors, whether or not you wear a uniform. And that's something that we all have to continue to voice our, our, our opinion about. One last thing I want to tell you is if you want to channel this energy, channel it. I'll help you. I'll work with you. I'll organize. But we're only a few months away from an election that's going to determine generational change, especially here in the city. So please, make sure that you store some of that energy that you have right now for November because in November we will be able to make changes that are significant in our community. So with that Santana, stay strong. We love you. Andre and I are going to be with you. We're going to continue to walk and march with you. So just please uh, uh, you know, stay safe, keep to the message. Let's create that change that we all want. Thank you. Absolutely.